Everybody, we are back. It is taped on live. It's favorite podcast, favorite channel, favorite readers, everything. We are back. You guys already know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <clears throat> Hit the like button if you like it. Hit the dislike button if you don't like it. Leave a comment if you like it. Leave a comment if you don't like it. Follow us on Twitter as well at the March on NFL at BD Williams 18 for BD Panda Subs.com. Use TDL for 35% off as well. Go ahead and get in the gym. Get your head start before everybody else does in January with some panda You know what I'm saying? All right. It's Carfax week nine versus the Jaguars. First half is great. Second half is not great. So let's go ahead and uh, let's let's get into it. Let's just let's, let's get this. Doesn't matter. All right, third and six. Here we go. Third and six. You got Rutgers here and a sack. <clears throat> see, see what you don't like about this one. You know, even with the uh, the concept. So the concept. Go one more time here, so you guys can see it before I draw it up. It's kind of like arches, which you see with the Raiders. So. If we're good over here. Come on, Hunter. Come on, Hunter. All right. So you get the little option route from Hunter Renfro. He can stop, go out, right? Then you get a what we call a kind of like an over route or a B line, what they would call. And then you get the under route <clears throat> from Hollins, right? So you go run it backside. You know, that's what that's the side the car's working. You get the fade route from Adams here. I think Adams might have told him about this later on because they hit they start hitting this stuff, right? <clears throat> Sorry, I was wrong my time. Stop right there. All right, so then you get right here. I mean, you see against the scheme, if he had time, Rose open. Woohoo, man, he's open. <laughs> and maybe Carr even could have hit him if he, he's rolling up. I mean, maybe if he, the pressure didn't get to him. Oh, maybe he didn't have to bail this so quick a little bit. So, you know, the pressure gets up. Maybe just kind of slide a little bit. So he's trying to run it up. He's, you know, he's ready to get out of there. He's trying to get out. But there's nobody on their side. So <clears throat> a little bit of him running into the sack. Honestly. Time. Ooh. Quick pressure, though. Right. He's getting sacked. Sack. Sorry. <clears throat> All right. Next drive. Let's, let's see if it gets better here. Next drive. We got six, second and 13 here. <clears throat> Just a little seam with a little in route from Hunter Renfro and then a little understand. I don't know what we're doing here. It's weird. All right. Next play. Get a little what they call spin here, right? Play action. Getting the over route with the in route, right? So bring it back a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. Where's the 20? So we get in the motion right here from Renfro. You're going to get an over route, a speed route. So usually you, you know, we have the 10, right, to do the double ends. But we're seeing an over route, a speed over route, what they, like they call, um, from Renfro. And then we're going to see the deep end from Devontae Adams, right? Of course, you get the little, they always a run off deep post on the backside. All right, so. See here, Renfro's not open, right? But you know, this, we talk about with this offensive line, right? I know it's first and twenty, but this is a long developing route to Devontae Adams. Right? He, I mean, Devontae Adams is doing a twenty-yard in, right? I mean, that's your main guy. You have a bad offensive line. You are, you already can see what's happening down here, but we'll get to that. But Carter does a good job of getting out of the pocket, avoiding it. And Adams was so was going to be so wide open, anyways. If he stayed in the pocket, I mean, it's probably even better throw if he stays in the pocket. If he has time, it's a bigger play. 
So like, yeah, it looks really cool. Derek Carr gets out of the pocket, makes a throw on the run. It looks dope. It looks really cool, right? But if you go back, play action, right? And he just, just to say he just has time. Look, look at the coverage here. Right? If he just has time, full on time to block, right? And just step up and make a clean anticipation throw right to Devontae Adams with nobody around him, right? Clean pocket throw. Man, he might score. <laughs> but it still ends up being 21 yards because Derek Carr makes a play, but I'm just saying. Time play action. Right to the stunt. They don't pick it up. Bars is too far up ahead, right? And even Miller's getting pushed back a little bit too more than you like into the pocket. Carter's a good job of avoiding it. I so even saw a little too. Did we see two? Did we see two hands? Did we, are we seeing two, two hands? Is that two hands? Oh, look at the, oh, protect the football. Oh wow! All right. So I'm talking about. All right. All right. Second and four. Here's the fade touchdown to Adams here. Nice. All right. So I want to talk about this play a little bit. I talked about this on Twitter a little bit, but uh, so what I want you guys to watch, watch the cut blocks. Right, from Miller and Illuminor. Right, so that tells you we're supposed to go over here because what we're going to see, we're going to see a flat route right here and then a quick Y hook from Hunter Renfro. I mean, this is second and four, right? So they're just trying to get four yards. That's what the Zions play now. With every single you know play in this system, usually if we get press coverage, you're getting a, you could fade off it. I mean, usually with the, the outside X receiver, he has a fade release off press coverage, they know that. Hopefully they know that by week nine, and they obviously do because that's, that's what happens here. So Carr sees that. I mean, this, even if this guy even tries to get over there on time, I mean, if they get this fade off quick enough, and if Carr looks this way just long enough, he knows that he can hold that guy just just long enough, right? So he looks this way, just that quick look, right? Brought Cisco a little bit over here, just a little bit. That's all he needed, tiny tiny bit of time, and then he could flip his hips and get a good throw off. Boom, right there. You see Adams, his hands are so late. Campbell had no idea where that ball was. Crazy. You see, see the check, right? Calling out. Make sure everybody sees everything. Calling the alert out. Cut blocks, right? See, there's that quick look, right? Move Cisco over, that quick look. Come back this side. Touchdown. And that's just a late hands. Like Campbell's, just, like Campbell's just trying to play through his hands, right? Campbell's, I'm going to play through his hands. I'm already lost. But how do you play the hands when the hands are that quick? <laughs> Crazy. Uh, all right. Next play. We got a little smash. Texas. Okay. I like this route concept on the backside, too. They need to do more things to this and get the running backs more involved in this pass game, in my opinion, because the point of the field is so open. All right, so let's go back a little bit here. All right, so we're getting here. The smash Texas, right? So we're getting the under route from Devontae Adams. Then we're getting the, the corner route, out, out route, corner route, whatever you want to call it over here. But what I like is this concept over here. We're getting a little angle route. From Josh Jacobs out of the backfield. He's so open. And I just think they need to hit things like this more often to their running backs and get car easier completions. Because this, this completion right here is crazy. But this is probably his worst decision of the game. I'm going to tell you right now, this is his worst decision of the game. It's also his best throw. Because <laughs> we got cover two. So, you know, if you got cover two and this guy's leaning this much, right, he's just leaving Adams on this under route, you probably should start Adams here. Woo, bam, right? It's first 10 Adams. No, 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 oh no. Car's got time. He's got a chance to 
follow through with the throw. Look, he's following through. Look, wow, follow through. And he throws a beauty in between two guys. Dime. This is a stupid throw, but it's also a stupid throw. Just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, because, I mean, you see the angle route. I mean, he probably he should throw to Adams here. So you got cover two. Adams right here. Boom, his first down. Get the easy completion. Bam, Adams right first down. Probably get the same thing. Right, because you see, he, he, Campbell sees his eyes are eyeing this throw right here. He also has Jacobs open, but this is what I'm talking about. Let's do. Let's hit this next week, maybe. You know, Sam, we got cover three. It gets a little. You know what I'm saying we, we can hit that one, right? But this is a great throw right here. Perfectly right to the sideline. Bam! Make those guys run to each other. Great catch by Renfro. Whew. First down. That's a thing of beauty. It's in clean pocket right here. That's a crazy decision. I, I, I don't know why he threw this ball. And, and JT, JT O'Sullivan has, has, has ruined me because the car plays on his toes. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. He plays on his toes. It's toesy. He's, but see what happens when he gets his feet planted here? He gets his feet planted. Feet Pointing towards the target. Look at that. Follow through. And it's on point. Crazy. Crazy how that works. All right, next play. So call this one Jinx, of course. All right, we got the in route in. You got the in route from Hollins up here, right? And then we get what we call a whip route, juke route, whatever you want to call it, okay? But we get that from Hunter Renfro, so there's a mixture, kind of not really high-low concept, but, I mean, some options for car. I mean, Renfro's open, too, on this one for a first down, too. Actually, you know, this is a good route by Renfro, one of his best routes I've seen him run all year. But Hollins is wide open, too. This is a good job by Cisco getting there on time, right? Great throw right there. Car, boom. First down. And you, and you see how they're double teaming Adams, right? And that just left everything else wide open here on the one on ones. It's a good job by Carr seeing that. Boom. First down. Maybe throwing that throw a little bit earlier. But we like it. Kind of see why he's late to that one. Just go back a little bit. See where? Yeah, he wants. Right. He's looking at Renfro. Then he goes to Renfro next. Then he goes to Hollins right there. Boom. See what happens? So see, he has time. Look at look at the eyes. Watch the eyes. This is what I'm saying. I see a lot of people break down their card. They never. I never see this online. I never see people show this side. So important when you're breaking down a quarterback, right? You see his eyes, right? See where he's looking. Okay, he doesn't like it. And then see the pocket he has, then he's able to go to number two. You see his eyes, number two. Boom. Throw. Step on it. Follow through. Accurate. He just needs a little time. This one goes to Fossum a row. You get a little boot. Utah, boot Utah. <laughs> we get to check down the Foster Road and then the freak Trayvon Walker. We're just, just we're gonna talk about that. This this play too. All right, so here we go. Utah, of course. Utah, we get the in. Then we get the in. Then we get the boot. Boom. Of course, right? And then we get a little flat route from. Awesome Roger, a quick little chip, kind of help out Mumford there. His car's looking at the boot there, not there, double team, maybe could have got it there. He does beat Ty uh, Tyson Campbell, he does beat him, but I mean, there's always pressure on him, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> car does, uh, avoids it. And then he get the ball out to Foster Monroe here. And then Foster Monroe does, does the job. But I just, you know, we'll, let me go back a little bit. 
Trayvon Walker is was rushing over here. Okay, so now he's right here. Just, just Trayvon Walker. Okay, there he is right there. It's Trayvon Walker right there. He's he's jogging. I just want to let you know, guys. He's jogging. Right? He's jogging. He goes for some run. Going. He gets some runs going full speed. Oh, <laughs> look, let's just look at look. Uh, he's like a gazelle. This is him right here. This is Trayvon Walker. Say what you want about his pass rush skills. Maybe he ain't there yet, but good lord. Here he comes right in the picture. <laughs> Man. All right, next play. It's a touchdown to Devontae Adams here. Play action. He's a two fall. It's crazy. Touchdown. All right. This game just started off so well, didn't it? It's like so it just started off so good. Here we go. Play action. I really like this design. So we're basically just getting we're getting a shake route here. And uh based on the design, I mean I guess they're playing cover three. You know, we get this guy lined up Adams one on one on Cisco. And it's just it's just not fair. You know, because we're getting the fake reverse too, which I really like. We get the play action. They fake the reverse to Hollins, right? So they gotta respect they gotta respect the reverse. You see Walker is respecting the reverse right there. He has to, right? Come out. And it and just creates great protection. And then Derek Carr, what I like about this one, you see Derek Carr is facing this way. His his he's basically kind of showing like this is gonna be a corner route, right? He's selling the corner, which makes Cisco kind of turn his hips. And he's able to come back around this way and just get these eight up. It's over. Touchdown. So I'm saying, I mean, I mean, when Carl had time, he's pretty, he's pretty good in this game. He had, he had time. I mean, he was pretty damn good. I mean, you hate the little. He's, he's get to get. Get the, get the feet separate. You know, get the, get the feet separated a little bit more for me there. That's okay. That's all right. We, we got look at that pocket. See, this I'm talking about. Clean pocket. I mean, touchdown. All right, third and three. Here we go. The, the, the infamous underthrow. I really like this call. Though, so I like this call. The here, uh, the power the wheel route. He's just just late. Maybe I don't know if that, maybe I do was too short for him to throw this one. In a straight seam. I don't know why he threw the ball this way. I think that's, that's, that's just my main problem here. But really, what we get, we get this call. This is called pinwheel. We haven't I haven't seen pinwheel all year. This is the first time I saw pinwheels. Is, I, I really like this play. So we get wheel out of you know instead of the peel post wheel, we get a wheel out of the backfield with the post, right? I'm gonna forget his butt kicked again. Oh man, they're just kicking his butt off the line. Nothing there. But I think Carr, I don't know what happened. I, I think that he thought Adula was too small and he tried to float it to the back of the end zone because he should just throw it to him. If he just throws it and on a line, because this guy's back's turn, he's running for his life. He's not gonna turn around. If he just throws it to him, it's touchdown. I don't know why he tried to do this cute throw thing that he tried to do here. And that's why he missed it. She just threw it to him. If he's running for his life, that's still pass interference. I don't care that everybody says somebody says, "Oh, what's well, the excuse on that one?" That's pass. It is pass interference. Let's just keep it real. That is pass interference. It's, I mean, that's like the definition. He's like he's not looking for the ball. <laughs> I don't like. Isn't that like the definition of pass interference? I mean, it's, it's terribly underthrown, and he should have just threw it to him. Like right, like just throw it to him. Just throw it to him. You don't have to feed it. Just throw it online. Just put a little touch on it. Throw it on a little touch ball. Touchdown. Right to Amir Dula. Right, and then maybe you get the PI. I don't know why they didn't call PI on this. When I saw this live, I was like, that is the definition of pass interference. Like if I if I did it on the playbook and I looked it up in the rule book, I feel like that's pass interference. So I mean, terrible throw. But like what what? Like what? 
they should have the ball the one. I don't care. Like he's he, he's not looking at the ball. He just runs into him. <laughs> what? Is, what is this? You know about ten. Okay, so we got dig, and then you get the deep twenty yard dig on the backside. Now we're getting cover two, I believe. I'm watching one more time. I really don't, don't remember. I'm gonna check my what did I label it here? It's communication. Of course, I didn't label it, but that's okay. <laughs> We got cover two. That's what it is. We got cover two. All right. So as you can see with this coverage, this is going to be wide open. I mean, this this in route, I mean, they can't guard it. I mean, unless this guy gets far enough, but he's watching Renfro, right? And once he sees Renfro turn that way, that's why he turns. So he's not, there's nothing for it. He doesn't have to continue going deep, right? Because he's playing Renfro. That's his uh, assignment, right? Now, I don't know what Matt Collins is doing. I mean, he's just not expecting the football. But this is wide open, man. I mean, if he runs it in, it's like it's just so open. It's just, he's just so open. And then, you know, Derek Hart throws it right to where he's supposed to be, right? And it's almost intercepted instead. So he's a great special teams player, though, you know? Great special teams player. I'm saying, I mean, you get the clean pocket. You know, he's got a clean pocket. This is a great, great pocket on third down. That's right, the best pocket he's had on third down, like all year. He's able to fully step into the throw. It's going to be accurate. He just, and, the, and then the guy runs the wrong route. I mean, that's, that was this is that's Raiders football. Twenty-first down and ten. In a quick slant in the spot route down the bottom. Okay. So like I said, spot, get the flat, corner, come back, right? Come back from Holland's corner. And then we're getting a quick slant here on this back end from Devontae Adams, okay? Ooh, that's a big miss right there. And we had Devontae. <laughs> just, 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 the clear pocket, boo. Look, look at all the space, man. He's he's running for a little bit. He's running for a little bit, guys. He still probably got a chance to catch this ball, but, man, it's tough. He's like, car like, sidearmed it, maybe, and, like, threw it. I don't know. He threw a slant across your body, but, hey. I still don't know what Mumford is looking at on this one. I still don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> and, and, you know, maybe Adams could stop there, too. You know, you know, help, help your quarterback out. You see the guy get beat here and just stop. I don't know. I mean, it's not on Adams to Adams. It's not on Adams to know that Mumford's not going to block the, the guy. <laughs> you know. Uh, so here we go. Next play. I like this one. They call it Bruin. I, I like this. All right. Because where we're getting, we're getting the post route. You know? Next to the zone, we're getting a post route, and then we're getting an out here and an option route from Hunter Renfro, and then we got an in route on the backside from Mr. Moreau here. All right, we got we got some C3, playing some C3. And of course, Derek Carr's under pressure though. So he probably would have probably went to Adams there if he had time, but he didn't. So here we go, good throw right there. Maybe say on the run, maybe he could throw it to Hollins, but you know, Hollins didn't run the right route earlier. <laughs> Who knows if he's 
Going to get the ball again. Here we go. You see it? Nice, nice play by Derek. Uh, dodge him, make the play. Uh, first down. Great catch. All right. Next drive. Oh, you're gonna get the goose with the skinny post here. Ugh. All right. So. We got Goose, right, too high. We turn to a post, then we got the seam here on this one on the back end, right? Let me get the skinny post from Adams here. Boom, so let's check this out, run it. Play action, we in cover three, right? Which is weird because they're playing cover two Basically, so when we're gonna cover two. I mean, it looks like cover three, but this guy he becomes a safety here. The safe, this is a slot, and Campbell plays cover two, right? So, Carr sees that, and maybe he's thinking he's got cover three. Maybe I don't know, but Adams is still open. He does a good job of anticipating this. Look, he's throwing this ball. Adams ain't even had his break yet, right? But he can't step into it. And he misses. Now, I mean. Rimfro is wide open on this one. There's people talk about Rimfro here. Boom. Maybe. Uh. But like, just say he's. Let's just say. Let's. I just say he's making the same throwing motion to Rimfro. He's looking at this guy, just based on timing of this throw. Let's talk about it. Timing based on timing here. Boom. Time. Boom. Throw it. Right. This guy's still hitting car while he throws it. It's probably worse. It's probably gonna go right to thirty three. Up in the air. It's gonna flick up in the air. Go right to thirty three. But since he's throwing this way, forty two can't hit his arm. So uh, Jacobs has to make that block regardless. Doesn't I mean that's, <laughs> that's basically what I'm trying to say here. This play, it might have been worse if he threw the ball to Renfro. And then you guys, oh my God, he's. It's probably worse because timing, boom. Because even with the, the, the setup of the feet of this, he, he'd have to get his feet set around this way too. So he had to come back around with it. It would take more time. And he'd still get, he'd be getting popped. Same way. All right, next one here. All right. So let's check down here. I don't know if people, some people say there's a big miss to Mac Collins here. So we're getting 10 again on this one, 10. Let me back this up. Oh, bad. This is, we're getting spin again, not 10. We're getting a little, little speedo in the end, right? So you get the over route. Then we get the in from Devontae. Then we get the post route from Matt Collins, right? So we want Devontae on this end, right? We want Devontae then. Who, who, who's wide open, too? I mean, we, we talk about Matt Collins being wide open. Devontae has his wide open, too. Car, okay, check this down, right? Now, you could say that, you know, he should have more time and hit these routes downfield. And I, I can I can agree with you on that. I, I think I think if he maybe maybe backed up a little bit, maybe took took a, four, a couple more steps backwards, bought himself some more time, maybe he could hit these, right? Make a little bit of a longer throw. I mean, the pressure on game, I guess. I don't know. I mean, the guy is really close to him. But I'm saying maybe we could back up. And then, of course, you know, James is not winning either, right? So this pack of... It's just not, man. It's just, you know, it's just not clean. It's just... It's not, it's not a circle there. You know what I mean? It's just not a circle. Yes. All right, second and two. Oh, man. 
Oof. All right. Second and two. I have my thoughts on this. Okay, so I know Derek Carr. I know he loves Devontae Adams. I know that, right? But we're getting D slant up here. So we're getting two slants and a flat. We get slant flat. There's two guys out here. Okay. It's two. So that means just, just by numbers. Three. We got a three by one. There's two guys out here. I just would rather Derek Carr work this side. This is just my opinion. I know you had Devontae Adams. And I understand it. I understand it. Don't 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 get me wrong. I understand it, but it's just, you don't just get two yards when Foster was wide open. You know what I mean? There's nobody on him. You just, you just get two, man. Just live another day. And I get it. Right. But I mean, that's what I'm saying. There's a safety over the top of Adams. And I understand it. I mean, he wins kind of, I mean, he still has a little trail over. It's a tough throw. It's tight. Had to make a great throw just like he did before. And you didn't make the same throw. Just a little bit further inside. A little more of a jump ball. He could have just hit Fossil Monroe right here. You know? There's nobody. I mean, I'm, I'm sure. I mean, he gets to the 50 or something, man. We're still alive. That's, that's what I'm saying. You get three more downs, you know? That's all I'm saying. We're going for the gut, so I mean, he gets to the, I mean, he gets to the same spot as his throw, as his throw to Adams. I just, you know, I just wish you'd work that side. You see that three by one, and I'll let your boy. And I mean, this is a great play by Campbell because he throws it high. It's really not that terrible of a throw, to be honest. But it's a great play by Campbell. Let Campbell get his hand in between there, right? Oh man, it's a great play. All right, here we go. Next play. We're getting the same thing, type of thing, but we're going to fade again. Then we get a bad throw. All right. So let's back it up. So here, okay, we got Hunter Renfro on these two slants. We get a under with the slants. So we're getting this quick slant and under. Now, you've seen the cut blocks again. So that tells us. This ball, they're cut blocking, so car has a clear lane, so the guys can't jump into the lane of the slant. That's why you get cut blocks, right? So you can't jump into the lane of the slant because you're, you're going down, right? So you see the cut blocks that go down. The car's not looking. He has Hunter for the first down. I don't know how far. Like, I mean, Hunter probably only gets like seven yards maybe. Maybe gets more than that. But that's where this ball should have went, right, technically. And that's, that's what the play calls design. Okay, but what I, what did I say earlier? What did I say earlier? We talked about these fades of these press. We got press man. We got a safety coming down. What does that say? That means I got a fade with Devontae Adams. I got I got Devontae Adams with this guy that hasn't been of the guard in all game really. And I mean he gets past him again, but Arden Key is coming to crush him. Boom. His car thought he had more time than that, and then he just said the ball just sails out of bounds. So instead of taking an easy completion, you know, we decided to go for the gut. So go for the game, and we didn't get it because our offensive line didn't hold up. Man, Parker makes that block, bro. Ugh. All right, fourth and two. Oof. We're getting Utah again. Sorry, 10, my bad, my bad. We're getting, we're getting 10 again, sorry. So, in, in, in this room. <laughs> All righty, so, this pick route, I don't see, 
It's weird. So you see there's a pick route right here. Is this supposed to go to Abdullah? Why isn't he throwing up Abdullah? You know what I mean? See the pick route right there? I feel like it's supposed to go to Abdullah. Why isn't he throwing up Abdullah? <laughs> but he throws it here to Riffro. You even see Abdullah be mad, right? Abdullah's mad. This is weird. Weird decision here. Because you see the pick. I mean, obviously. I mean, there's a pick design to it, right? You're just trying to get two yards. Maybe that's what they're trying to do. Garwin for the, the I mean, I, you, I mean, you, you're getting one on I mean, it's, it's hard for me to say this because you're getting a one-on-one, -on -one, but the play is designed for Abdullah, obviously, because there's a pick route. Because this man, he's getting a pick, right? There's a pick route right there. That's designed. Now, Hunter Rufro usually beats 31. I, I I get it. I get it. Derek's trying to go here, but, like, he's not open. He's not winning. But the pressure forced him to throw it anyways, right? He's trying to just – because he doesn't have time to think. He, he just gets rid of it. Or rather, he just got rid of it here, though. <laughs> I'm saying like I mean, he's looking at it he looks at it but he, like he passes like, well, well, no no he's not looking at it he's looking at Rufro the whole time huh I mean, he's looking at Rufro right he wants Rufro but then he doesn't have a chance to think All bad.